Today, I'm gonna to be working on the front side axle stall. Okay, the front side axle stall. Let's take a look at what we're aiming for. We're gonna come up the ramp, pivot, and get on top, your back is facing down the transition. Weight on the back foot, pivot, and come back in. I've never tried these before, but I can do the axle stall backside. You might want to check out my video on learning that one first. I'm thinking that this one bears no relation pretty much, because you're coming up, it's going to be a very different manoeuvre to get onto the coping and it's gonna be very different coming back off. I anticipate this being super scary, trying to come back in without being able to see where you're going backwards into the transition. For that reason, I have chosen a nice little mini ramp to try these on with a coping, and we're gonna learn the top tips as we go. Let's see how we get on. few first attempts there. As with the backside axle stall, finding it hard to get it right round so that both trucks are onto the coping, just coming round into a bit of a feeble and jumping off. So I just need to pivot a little bit more. Okay, it's getting closer. I'm gonna experiment with bending my knees at the bottom of the ramp. Okay, that's the first time I got both trucks on. Just need to wait a little bit longer, get the back wheel over and then do my pivot. Okay, just a little bit too far that time. Just got to bring it back an inch. Okay, I'm getting up into the stall quite consistently now. I think it's worth trying to isolate coming back in. Okay, first try coming back in, nearly washed out. So I've just got to get my shoulder down into the turn, level her out. Okay, that was close. Just got to stay on now. Okay, that was a sketchy one. Don't think I can claim it. I'm gonna bend my knees more, try and commit back in a little bit more. Okay, I think I can claim that one. Tip for coming back in, bend your knees, drop your front shoulder and look, and that seems to make up for you coming back into the transition helps with the washout. Doesn't seem to matter where the back wheel is on the coping, but I'm still going for the security blanket of the top wheel being locked in, hopefully stop the hang up. I'm gonna do some more. Okay, just gotta commit more backwards, washed out that time. Woo. consistently now still feel I can bend my knees a bit more for the re-entry I'm coming in with dead straight knees which I don't think is gonna work on a bigger transition I'm gonna do some more got a mini grind that time I think that's one for next time see if I can get these into a grind with any stall you can take them into a grind just by coming up the ramp a little bit more of an angle. Okay, that's it for the front side axle stall. Let's review the key points. Come straight up the ramp, leave your turn to the last minute manual. When you feel the back wheel hit the coping, 
spin, get the front truck on, then get ready to come back in, bend your knees and use the shoulder to pivot backwards, get your weight inside the ramp and it's just a case of manualing the front foot off and bringing her back in. I think this one is one of those tricks that's mostly scare factor, it's not actually technically that tricky. I would say it's probably easier to do than the normal axle stall which took me ages to learn. You can check out that video, I'll put a link in the comments below. Let's go through it in key time then. So coming up to the ramp, bend your knees, pump up the ramp, pop a manual. When you feel the back wheel hit the coping, spin and turn, stand on top of the coping, get your knees bent ready to come back in shoulder into the ramp, back foot pressure, spin, back in and ride away. The more bent knees you can use, the better it is. I'm useless at bent knees, so I'm like a pelican most of the time. Whenever I bent my knees up, it felt a whole lot better. This ramp was perfect, just a nice little mini ramp, not too steep, not too crazy on the coping. I'm gonna look forward to working these up onto different transition sizes and different coping sizes. But I think to start with, just because of the scare factor, it might be worth finding a nice, easy quarter pipe to try these on. As ever, my name's been John Bishop, and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate.